Okay, welcome to part two of chapter four, and this is Blood Vessels Continued. Your main goal for this particular part simply is to know the names of the major arteries and veins in the systemic circulation, so that means the whole body. As we roll forward, we got an opening question for you to think about, and the question is, the heart is said to be a double pump. What are your thoughts on this and why? Okay, you may want to take a moment to think about that. Essentially, it's a double pump because the heart pumps to the lungs, and that is one type of one type of circulation called pulmonary circulation. And um, in this particular type, the heart brings the blood in close contact with the lung, in particular the air sacs in the lungs, known as alveoli. And we're going to talk more about that in just a second. The second type, well, I said in just a second. Here we go. Here is the lung, and you can see the heart with the pulmonary artery bringing the deox blood into the lungs here. And the surface of these lungs are coated by literally millions of these little air sacs called alveoli. And capillaries in our lungs sit right next to the alveoli. So what happens is when you bring in a breath of air, the oxygen diffuses across the thin wall of the capillary into our blood. And any waste gases like carbon dioxide diffuse right back across that thin uh, layer, that thin membrane, and you're, you exhale the carbon dioxide out. This is the second type of circulation in the body, thus making it a double pump. This is what we call systemic, which means the heart pumps blood to all the rest of the body. That's what systemic means, is body-wide. As we set up to go into our next situation, this is just a quick flow chart that's going to kind of show us from the aorta um, the different arteries that we're going to be looking for on a diagram here in just a minute, like the coronary arteries. And we're also going to be looking for the three branches off the aortic arch, which is the brachiocephalic trunk, the left common carotid, and the left subclavian. So stay tuned to get those next.